Hello, my friends! This is Endless Horizon Vacations with yet another video. Uh, today we are going to uh, update you on cruise information as of January, the end of January uh, 2021. Uh, so we have some exciting news for you and uh, we'll get right to it. But before we do, uh, if you could uh, hit that red subscribe button down below, it'll alert you to uh, all of our videos that come out uh, that uh, uh, with all the travel industry news, uh, cruising news, what have you, uh, you'll be alerted. So uh, please hit that red subscribe button uh, down there. So um, I am Chris. Uh, I am a, uh, your travel specialist uh, for Endless Horizon Vacations, and uh, I definitely uh, stay in, on top of all the information and all the news that comes out. Uh, I, I am just so excited. I, I'm started, stuttering a little bit uh, because I am excited because there is some buzz going on right now in the cruising world. Um, I have got a good friend uh, down in uh, uh, Cape Canaveral um, and uh, he was uh, down by the port today and uh, I'm, I'm gonna put a little picture of it up here. Um, but uh, the allure of the seas, uh, Royal Caribbean's allure uh, came into port today. Um, so it's starting to buzz around. Uh, so that just creates some excitement. Uh, we, we don't know any definite uh, cruise dates uh, yet, but uh, if uh, the ships are, are starting to move around, um, definitely that creates some hope. So, um, so that's, that's, that's happening. Uh, they're, they're starting to start to get going, but do have to say pretty much all cruise lines all, all across the board uh, have uh, canceled and, and delayed cruises until May. Uh, but the way uh, the vaccine rollout is going, um, the way uh, COVID cases are, are decreasing, there, there's some hope that uh, May could be on. Uh, who knows? So we can't say anything definite. Um, as everyone knows now, um, it's day to day. Uh, you're faced with all kinds of uh, different roadblocks every single day. Uh, new things come out of the bushes and, and you don't know what you're going to be hit with. So we'll just have to see. Uh, so that just uh, try and be patient. We'll get back out on the water soon. Um, definitely. So anyhow, um, uh, do have to wait till May. Uh, one of the big updates that has come out um, that all the cruise lines are really uh, focusing in on and, and trying to get out there is uh, the vaccine. Uh, you are going to have to get uh, pretty much they're, they're all going to have everyone get vaccinated. Uh, right now they're saying uh, you have to show proof that you've had the vaccination, both shots, uh, if, if that's the type you're getting, uh, at least 14 days before um, you step on, a, on the ship. So you know that that's that's kind of what they're putting in place right now um so other than that uh there's a lot of other um updates that have been going on uh i have uh addressed it in my other videos but uh, uh real quick like mustard drills uh it'll be app based you'll look at an app uh, watch the video then go down to uh the the muster station um check in uh, a lot different than what uh, we're used to on uh, on cruises so it's, that's kind of a good thing uh, type of thing. So, and then as far as uh, uh, capacity, um, it's gonna be less to start off with. I uh, don't know how long uh, they'll keep that less capacity. Uh, they're talking anywhere from 40, 50% to start off with, increasing that as time goes on. Uh, so, you know, we'll, uh, we'll have to see. Um, and uh, masks, of course, um, anytime you're, you're not in the water, um, anytime you're not eating, you're going to be required to wear masks all throughout the boat. going to be quite different for a little bit. Uh, pretty much anywhere you go in the world now, uh, you're going to have to, you have to wear masks uh, pretty much anywhere right now. So you're kind of used to that. But uh, that will be lifted as, as time goes on. Uh, san sanitation, uh, san sanitizing, not sanitation. Uh, sanitizing, um, uh, you know, door handles, chairs, uh, uh, counters, you're going to see a lot of that on the boats. Uh, they're going to take every precaution they can uh, to keep things as safe as they can for its passengers. Uh, the cruise lines really have gotten a bad rap uh, through this whole ordeal, and uh, they don't want that to happen again. Trust me. So they're going to go overboard. 
excuse the pun, um, to uh, make sure that uh, uh, the cruising world stays uh, um, healthy and, and COVID free and, and all that the best that they can. So um, other than that, uh, you know, little things like menus, no menus. Um, you're going to have menus on, on your phone now, scan an app. You know, there's going to be a lot of little things. Um, not really going to throw too many people off, I, I wouldn't think, because uh, this past year, year and a half, uh, we have all dealt with a lot of changes, and, and there's not a whole lot that can be thrown at us anymore that uh, we're not surprised about. So uh, we just roll with it. Uh, I'll get along. Uh, have a good time and uh, vacations are there to relax and enjoy and cruising that's what we love to do is relax and enjoy so we're gonna make sure to do that so anyway I uh, don't want to uh, extend this too much longer just want to say there has been a lot of buzz here lately um, some movement and uh, uh, we did uh, get a little secret uh, sneak peek of the lure uh, cruising around um, and uh, so anyway, we shall hope that May uh, uh, starts cruising again. That's all we can do is hope at this point. So anyway, uh, if you haven't yet, please hit that red subscribe button down below. Uh, we are Endless Horizon Vacations. I am Chris, I'm a travel specialist. I would love to take care of any and all of your travel needs. Um, any of our uh, representatives at Endless Horizon Vacations can as well. So. We are always here for you. We treat you like family. And uh, as always, make the most of it and have a good day, my friends. Thank you for watching.